Hi, I'm Claire. Welcome to Clary Yoga. This is a short tutorial about snail pose and plow pose. So this is my absolute favourite. It's my go-to pose when I find that my lower back is tense and tired. Please do not attempt this pose. If you are injured, it is quite an intense pose and uh, you should be well in your tissues and your muscles to attempt the pose. So let's begin. You may need a blanket. I find a lot of compression in the back of my neck and because of the size of my vertebrae right at the base of my neck, it really digs into the floor and can be quite uncomfortable. So a blanket helps with that compression. So you do need a little momentum to get into this pose and so a nice little bit of core strength. So when you're ready, either on the floor or using your blanket, if you're using the blanket, make sure that your shoulders are resting on the blanket and your head is above the blanket. Okay, so coming down on your back, making sure that your shoulders feel supported, the head is in contact with the floor. Just take a breath here to settle the tissues, settle your belly. Exhale, release. Okay, so when you're ready, you're going to use a little momentum. Now, I'm going to be looking straight up. Please don't turn your neck when you're in this pose. You always want to maintain your gaze up towards the ceiling. With a little momentum, you come up. You can support your um, lower spine and your hips with your hands, and you can begin to guide yourselves over. Now, obviously, depending on the tightness of your back, you may find that you stay here, and this is your pose. You can bend the knees and come into a variation of snail from this position. If you find you have a little more room today, you can continue moving your legs over towards the floor. Now, plow pose, you straighten the legs, and you can tuck the toes, and this is your plow pose, releasing your arms behind your back. For those of you who prefer snail variation, you bend your knees towards your face. Now, some of you may find that your knees come down to the floor. Others, like me, will be hovering the knees above. Now, if you feel that you're about to roll out, you can always use your hands to support your back here. And this is where you stay. Now the blanket should be protecting the vertebrae of your neck if your um, vertebrae are protruding quite a lot like mine. So it should feel quite well protected and cushioned. Take a few breaths here, feeling that release down the spine as the muscles of the spine are being elongated and stretched. Okay. So you can stay here for as long as you wish. Now, when you're ready to come out, you're going to place your hands down on the floor, palms facing down. And slowly with control, you roll out. Now I take my head with me because that feels comfortable for my neck. Now you can experiment, taking the time nice and slowly, using your hands for support and guiding yourselves out of the pose, core strength, until your hips are down on the floor. And take a moment there, just allowing the feet to connect to the floor and releasing the head back. Now any sensations, just allow them to move through the body as your tissues adjust. Breathe there. Take one more deep breath. And then exhale. And then roll to the side and help yourselves up again. Okay, so that is your snail pose and your plow pose. So experiment with those variations. If you have any questions, please do get in touch with me, clariayoga.com. I'd love to hear from you. For now, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.